Hi, I'm Laurel Toby. I'm the founder of MediaBistro.com, and we're back on Media Beat with our wonderful guests, Doug Carlson of Zinio and John Lima of Scroll Motion. These guys are the experts in digitizing magazines, taking them off of paper and into your hands in the form of an iPad or an iPhone or what have you. So let's ask them the question of the day. What would you do? What are the specific things that you would do if you were developing uh, an app yourself? OK, let's say you didn't own a company, right, uh, that sold apps or sold these products to magazine publishers. If you were talking to a magazine publisher and you were an expert, which you are, what would you do? What are the biggest fe features that you would uh, put on in a product, say, that a magazine publisher is coming out with today? Well, I think the first thing that challenges publishers is really their workflow process. And so we'd look first and say, can we create something that's actually going to be uh, scalable and affordable and usable really across platforms? And, and then, but the main thing is I want to make sure that through my print side, for the ones that actually create the magazine, I can create a process that actually is going to be scalable and usable in the future and across the globe, across all platforms and across all screen sizes. And, that, and that's really what Zinio provides. All right. Well, if you were giving advice to a publisher, what are the three absolute do's or don'ts that you would say has to be in this product? One, you have to remember who your customer is. And remembering your customer, you have to think about all the features that you can put in it and then think about what your customer is going to use. Every magazine has a different set of customers. You have to think about which features your cost, their customers are going to be tied into. So there's not a one-size-fits-all solution, just like there's not a one-size-fits-all solution to magazines today. Different paper size, different paper weight, different distribution, different uh, subscription cycles. All those things are unique to the consumer and the magazine. I would start with think about your consumer and then work backwards. Let's say uh, let's switch gears a little bit here, because some of our viewers are job seekers. Um, let's say I wanted to work at one of your companies. What skills do I need to transform myself from a magazine person into coming and being one of you people? Everything from design skills, a little bit of tech skills, lots of HTML, some JavaScript. Um, but more than all those things, you have to be able to provide a vision. You have to be able to look work with customers, be able to provide vision, and take their vision for a magazine and be able to transfer it from print into the digital space. Doug, what about you? Do you have any people who used to be magazine people working for you? Um, we probably have 20 on the magazine side. We have uh, 60 in engineering that breaks out between product development and quality assurance and, um, and actual uh, programmers. Uh, then we have customer service. Oh, customer um, service. Yep, you hear that? Yep. Magazine editors, you can be in customer service. Yep. All right, let's talk about one last question. Um, you guys are visionaries, obviously, for different reasons. What do you think the future is from here for digital magazines or what kind of product developments or anything you can really talk about, you know, in, in a public setting? What's next? In the future, what you're going to see is brands like Esquire and other magazines are really going to become tastemakers. And it's not just going to be about print or written content or multimedia or quizzing. It's going to be the common, they're going to have a full range of tools and they're going to have selections. They're going to say, we print this, we bring this to digital. I mean, the, the, the tablet aisle of Best Buy is going to be littered with devices from every major manufacturer of the next couple of years. So content is going to live in the space. Thanks very much, guys. We've been watching Doug Carlson of Zinio and John Lima of Scroll Motion. Thanks again for watching Media Beat.